if only believers knew the unlimited resources that could come to them from heaven most believers would take prayer seriously it will not just be about impressing a man of god or impressing a group of people or showing through social media you are anointed a believer who is not praying is a victim please make no mistakes about it the reason you are not yet victimized is probably because your schedule has not appeared on demonic calendars the bible said the devil is prowling like a roaring lion seeking whom he will devour so he is checking he, he is not omniscient and he's not omnipresent so he's not everywhere at the same time the reason he has not come to you is because you are not yet on his schedule welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to be looking at the subject of prayer and we have apostle joshua selman apostle michael robert to talk to us about prayer open up your heart to receive from god this day God bless you. If you fail to exercise that will in prayer, you will live a defeated life even though you are saved. You will think being born again should exempt you from prayer. There are many believers who are saved but because they do not understand the prayer ministry nor how to utilize this gift of the will. The hymn writer says, Oh, what needless pain we bear. There are certain pains, there are certain battles that are needless if only we know how to use this gift of the will to call for help. What is prayer? Prayer is the foundation of spirit life. Eternal life, scriptures, fellowship will all be useless if you don't pray. Because it's in prayer that you actually engage the spirit that furnish these things into your spirit. If you are not engaging God vitally, everything God puts in you will become obsolete. You will not even know how to operate it. Every machine requires a manual to educate you on how to operate it. This is why many are sick, many are helpless, whereas everything they need for a glorious life is already in them. But they are not engaging God, so they don't know how to access those things. And so every spiritual truth I teach personally, I begin from the corridor of prayer. And so prayer is a weapon for the last days. A believer who is not praying is a victim. Please make no mistakes about it. The reason you are not yet victimized is probably because your schedule has not appeared on demonic calendars. The Bible said the devil is prowling like a roaring lion, seeking whom he will devour. So he is checking. He is not omniscient and he is not omnipresent. So he is not everywhere at the same time. The reason he has not come to you is because you are not yet on his schedule. The Bible spoke of an evil day. There's an evil day for everybody. But like I taught you here, if you are effectively fortified, your evil day becomes your day of manifestation. Because everything we call a testimony was actually designed to kill us. The reason it became a testimony is because we counteracted the forces of darkness. And one of the things that gives you a strategic advantage to subdue and to overcome the powers of the enemy is to be fortified with prayer and this kind of prayer is not just father i need bread no this is actually a prayer life it's not a prayer with prayer points and it's not a prayer to meet the target of time it's a prayer weaved into your essence in luke 18 verse 1 he said men ought always to pray and not to faint three things of vital note number one you ought to that means it's a requirement number two is always and number three is fainting if you don't pray you faint and so the reason many are fainting is because prayer is not part of their lives yes when they have a problem they can engage god and pray that's good but that's not good enough when there is a need they can go to the prayer altar that's good but that's not good enough a man who understands that is in the last days eats prayer talks prayer true prayer dreams prayer in fact every second of the day he is vitally connected to god because that is where his strength is thank you for watching this video is aimed at making you become a person of prayer to so practicalize what you've heard so don't forget to like share drop your comments in the comment section and subscribe for more of this content god bless you and give you the grace to continually stay in the place of prayer May the spirit of grace and supplication be poured on you. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Bye for now. Amen.